Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. I do have this calculator, this Sharp Elsie Mate EL 80,000, oh, sorry, 8005S. My mistake, just popping out the batteries. Batteries do nothing. And I'm assuming those batteries are good. They are a mixed bag. I'm down to my battery dregs at the moment, but that's okay. Because I can see here there's a significant distortion in the colour of the plastic, which can mean only one thing, of course, that something inside this has gone dulale. So I'm just going to try to gently prise this apart, see how it's assembled. I didn't notice any screws when I had a quick look earlier, so should, oh, there you go. That was kind of easy, it just sort of spludged apart. Hmm, that doesn't really make too much sense though, because there isn't really anything by the burn. That should be getting that hot, really. Maybe it's a fag burn. Anyway, let's just continue. So it is a sort of one of those, I'm going to say some sort of electroluminescent displays for lack of uh, better knowledge, really, on, on the technology. Uh, I'm just going to pop a screwdriver in here. Let's get the old keyboard off. Hope the keys stay down there. We don't really want the keys to come with it. Hmm. I'm sure what's holding that in. It doesn't seem to have any other screws. Ah, I think it's basically clipped. Yeah, these are acting as clips here. Nice. Noise. Ha! So, with a little bit of luck, with a bit of luck, it will be easy just to fix it by cleaning off that shit. Okay, we've got some corrosion there. I'm going to try some foam clean today. I don't really like using foam clean because I think I'm ever so slightly allergic to it and especially today because I've got very dry eyes and very itchy skin so today's an allergy day all round for me so I suspect I'm going to be very itchy later on. Just get a nice ball of this. I should probably wear gloves. Dab it on that. See it's so green. It's super green. Super green. Rub too hard though, these sorts of keyboards. Sometimes you can rub away all the goodness. Right, let's get all that. Oh gosh. It's like a rag destroying surface. It's, going to be, it's like it's designed to eat through those. So let's have a look at this content. pretty good I think now just having a sneaky sneaky look for a better brush and there is a oh, better brush indeed there we go I wonder if that's all there is to it I kind of feel it probably is more but if there's a chance I can get the uh, batteries to sort of sit in here Take it. It's the most precarious thing in the world. This could be the most precarious thing in the world. Yeah. This is just a tribute. To the most precarious thing in the world. Oh, tribute. Seems to work. Let's pop it all back together. Yes. To the most precarious thing in the world. This is just a tribute. Mm -mm -mm. Shouldn't give up the day job, should I? Yeah. 
Yeah! Can't be that easy, can it? Can it? Could it? If it is, I'm going to be quite happy. But it's only until we sort of put it all back together where we'll discover if there's any other issues. It wasn't very really bright though, was it? But it could be these batteries. So there's a mixed, a mixed bag of batteries. I presume these are kind of living. They're just kind of lying around. Mm, oh, I can see numbers. These are going to be really hard to film. Oh, there we go. Maybe. So clear. Seems to have like two digits, then a digit, and then a digit. Is that like a date thing? It's weird. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so it seems to be possibly suffering from some other ailment. But what if it's down to not having enough juice? Oh, that's fine. We've got bench power supply here, though. Let's turn that all back on again. Let's uh, take the batteries out. Bench power supply set to a healthy full-on 6 volts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not sure which way round it needs to be. That way. Come on, grab it, grab it. There's nothing grabby on that side. Right, still seems to be exhibiting the same kind of nonsense, so. Batteries are probably okay. So that's at least stage one of the fix. So we've done the stage one fix. Interestingly, that screw in the back seems to be underneath this. I wonder if someone's actually had this apart and already tried to fix it. Because uh, I think that screw is supposed to be through the battery base. You can't just split it open like that. Hmm. Anyway, back out again. Oh, we're really good at that. So look, it's using this sharp chip. The sharp LI 2006. <whistles> Futuristic. Nothing really on the membrane to see, apart from just general membrane filth. So you've got this tube here. Look at that, it's all soldered in. How wonderful. Don't really want to prise it around too much, but just having a quick look underneath. It just seems to be wire links, there's not any real components there, just some diodes, capacitors, transistor, whatever this thing is, this is a marvellous looking device, TDK Japan, a 1279, got loads of pins on it, So on the off chance, just looking here though, it could, it could still, there's a lot of crusties still on here. All oh, right, that's where the bat. Of course, that's the batteries on that side too. Mm. I do recall one of the keys didn't work, like the six or something. So it didn't. didn't wasn't quite a hundred percent happy there. So what I'm going to do is uh, just give it a little rub down, I think, with some solvent. Just a touch. Just a touch of IPA. When I'm not drinking IPA, I'm putting it on calculators. Let's see what it's up to. We'll take off the carbon coating if we're not too careful. I packed my bags last night, pre-flight. And I'm gonna be high. 
There's a kite burning. Right, how about just, I'm just going to heat that board a little bit. Let's do a little mini heaty reflow thing. And I guess it's going to be a long, long time. Do you touch me and breathe me back again to the Oh no, no, no. I'm the rocket man. By the way, I'm just sort of like hand reflowing. I'm sort of soldering, but with hot air instead of a soldering iron. Looking pretty good, really. doing it but it's not digging it okay cool cool yourself it sure is toasty just checking out this piece of B draw pilgrim This will just bloody work. Just work. So we've got our six volt supply. Power is on. Need something a bit more conductive. It's weird. That's an awful lot of numbers on. Four. Just grabbing myself a key membrane. These are odd, odd little beasts, aren't they? Yeah, cheeky monkey. So just going to place the membrane down. The membrane looks pretty good, Nick. Actually, it's, I don't, I'm not worried about that. Right. Yeah, it's just not. It's not reliable to use it in this way. It just says four, no matter what I push. Plenty of four. It's 
makes me wonder if not, something needs to be buzzed out on this. Just so much corrosion. Okay, just one last quick experiment before I sort of t give up on this. The reason I'm giving up is because I'm kind of busy with other stuff. I just thought it would be quite, quite a quick one to do. Oh right, so these are so weird. This membrane stuff doesn't seem to even give continuity through it, look. Is so odd. It's so exactly where I'm actually just touching, even on the same part of the same thing. Oh yeah, I suppose it isn't giving continuity, but it's just it's because it's got reasonably high resistivity. So you probably have to just measure its resistivity rather than continuity if you're testing that. Yeah, I suppose I could um, buzz through this, but what I'm probably going to do on another another day, I will remove the whole keyboard membrane I think just in case there's something a bit doolally with it but yeah it's a real shame actually I don't know if it could be just any of these capacitors though you really you really don't know people are always re recapping stuff you know like the old computer games and things so why not calculators I suppose there's no reason at all why a calculator shouldn't succumb to whatever the same thing computer games do In there. It's all the right way. Yeah, everything looks pretty neat in there. There's nothing, nothing to be improved upon. I think. So that's the keyboard in where it needs to be. I did bend the display slightly, but that's fine where it wants to be too. So I'm going to do it the proper way now and just push the screw in though from the whole back of the enclosure. So that's really weird. I wonder if that burn mark again, is it just a sort of a... Oh, this screw's not tightening. <laughs> you bastard. I wonder if that just isn't the right screw for it. I'll get a better screw. A more sublime screwing experience. Yeah. Double the O's. 897. That's working. 897. Getting four though when I hit C. I could do without that. No one. Getting a two. No three, four, five. No, six, seven's there, eight, nine. No flashing on plus, minus, or decimal point. Divide, percent. So, yeah, more work needed. Sharp Elsie Mate. 8005S with the EL. I suppose that means electroluminescent. As ever, thanks for watching. Don't forget kids, keep on calculating!